What's up everybody? This is Scott. Icebox Nimi coming at you from the real frame of mind. This is going to be my entire blue light blue, blue fucking A. My entire Blu-ray collection. Uh coming at you, I'm just going to start with uh the crappy DVD cases and then going to standard Amray and then all the ones that I have that are steel books and slip covers and criterions and all that shit. So starting off first, I got uh African Cats I got Beauty and the Beast, The Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, so the newer one right there, but those are all the stupid cases that I own. Now it's regular Amray, and I got 10 Things I Hate About You, Argo, American Hustle, Apollo 13, The Artist, Boogie Nights. Bloodfather, check that one out if you haven't seen it. Mel Gibson's pretty good in that. Uh, Bridge on the River Kwai, Begin Again, A Bug's Life, Begin Again. I have the soundtrack. A Bug's Life, Boy in the Striped Pajamas. They don't speak German in this. Kind of pisses me off. Blade Runner. I believe this is the anniversary edition where it has a bunch of special features on that. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Nope, I lost. I lost it. All right, here we go. I got it back. Um, come on, before midnight. All right, before midnight, uh, that's probably my favorite one. So real. Link later is, well, actually all three of them wrote really well. Julie Delpy, Ethan Hawke, and Richard Linklater. Chronicle, um, got that up at a grocery store. I wasn't really impressed with that. Collateral, Casper, nice score from James Horner. Castaway, really underrated film. Kato, shut the fuck up. Uh, Dead Man Walking, great movie if you haven't seen this. I also got this from a, um, from a grocery store. It's a good movie. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, Drive, Foxcatcher, Flight, French Connection, Willie Friedkin, Finding Nemo, got this baby pretty cheap. Uh, Frank and Weenie, good first two acts. The last act is ridiculous. A uh, Few Good Men, uh, Sorkin and Rob Reiner, Grapes of Wrath, my boy Johnny Ford, Green Mile, you know Tom Hanks, Frank Darabont, Darabont versus uh, Kubrick in the first round of our, of our director's bracket. Um, Good Will Hunting, obviously a great film. The Gray, Goodfellas. I got a Hugo and William Walk on the Chocolate Factory double pack. Um, the Hobbit Desolation of Smog, Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. I have The Hobbit. No, that's Harry Potter, sorry. Harry Potter, and I think it is part. Deathly Hallows Part 2? Come on. Come on. Find it. There it is. Uh, Infernal Affairs. Oh, whoops. Infernal Affairs. If you're a huge fan of um, The Departed, don't watch that. It'll ruin it for you. Inherent Vice. The Intation Game, John Wick, Kubo and the Two Strings. Kubo gets better and better every time. Kiki's Delivery Service, that's a Ghibli, Miyazaki Ghibli. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Killer Joe, another Willie Friedkin. Uh, King Kong, Peter Jackson, I like that movie. Life is Beautiful, got The Lord of the Rings, the three film collection. Those are theatrical releases. Uh, Lincoln, this actually looks like a bootleg copy. I think I got it from Family Video. Life of Pi, which is genius. I love that movie. Ang Lee's uh, great. Let Me In. Metropolis. Don't ever get this one. Um, the Giorgio Moroder, Marauder Presents. He adds like stupid 80s music to the Metropolis. You can still watch this with mute, but don't get this version if you're going to... It's just stupid. Uh, the Master. Master and Commander. Good movie. Moon. These are the films that I have right now that I've still yet to watch. Pan's Labyrinth. I did a video unboxing of this a while back. I still haven't watched it. I need to. Hacksaw Ridge. I haven't opened. Edge of 17. I just got the other day. Under the Skin. Um, that's with Scarlett Johansson. Really weird movie. Spike Lee's Malcolm X. Eye in the Sky. Very underrated. One of my better, uh, one of my more favorite films of last year. Akiru. That's a Kurosawa one. And that's Spartacus DVD version. Uh, I got The Martian, not a huge fan of The Martian really, uh, won that in a contest. 
Mashed with Robert Altman. Mallrats, not a huge fan. I tried to watch it again and just, it didn't hold up for me. Uh, Mud, I think is great. Moonrise Kingdom. The Natural, I uh, heard a podcast talk about that one. I had to go grab it. I think that podcast is The Cinephiles. Yeah, The Cinephiles. But like files of it ends on like, like filing cabinet, I think. F-I, F -I, it's the F one. Nebraska, uh, Alexander Payne, really underrated director. The Nice Guys, The Others, um, great ending. If you haven't seen the ending of this film, The Others, go check it out. Overboard, baby. Love this movie. Um, I think there's something that always shocks me about this film. I think it might be who... Gary Marshall did it. So it's Penny Marshall's brother. I thought there was a... I think, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, Alan Silvestri does the music, which, the music is good in this, don't get me wrong, oh shit. Uh, another Ghibli, Porco Rosso, really good movie, I love that one. Uh, Philomena, I have, I think I have, I'm pretty sure I have all of the 2014 Best Picture nominees, so Philomena, Nebraska is another one, I don't know if we passed any of the other ones, but Primal Fear, um, what's that guy's name? Uh, shoot, it's got, um, I always forget that guy's name. It's got a young Edward Norton and then the other guy. Uh, shit, he's from, let me know in the comments what this, his name is. He's from, uh, Runaway Bride and he's from, what the hell is that other movie he's in? Or Richard Gere, that's it. The Proposition is a really good movie and actually they highlight it in one of my film books. Um, so check that out. It's Guy, Guy Pierce. I think that's the actor. I always get him and Guy Ritchie mixed up. Uh, Ran, Rush, Ratatouille, Straw Dogs, Spaceballs. This came with like a card or something, I think. I still have it on there. Yeah, like, he's got that on there. I kept it on because I was like, oh, well, if I'm going to buy it because of that, I'm going to keep it on there. God damn it. Come on, get the fuck back in here. Whatever. I'm just going to keep going. Scream 4, uh, Stanford Prison Experiment. I wasn't too high on that one. That was a that was an impulse buy. Shutter Island, Stoker. That's from your boy. Uh, that's a Fox Searchlight one. Got this from eBay for pretty cheap. Uh, Park Chan-wook did it, I think. Sandlot, obviously a classic to us 90s kids. Secret Window. Snowpiercer, The Squid and the Whale, which is great. Uh... Noah Baumbach, and then there's Running with Scissors, which I haven't watched. Sicario, Denny V, Skyfall, Terminator with the red case. Uh, T2 Judgment Day, Untouchables, Up in the Air, which is another great film. Up, Up, Winter's Bone, The Wrestler, I actually got from that same um, grocery store as the other two movies up there. Uh, the Wind Rises is, I think, is a phenomenal film. Um, check out the, there's a documentary on Ghibli. It's like the dreams and something or other. It was on Netflix for a while. Sorry, I'm just, I just want to get that fucking Blu-ray back in here. Um, it was, uh, during the, they filmed this documentary of Studio Ghibli during the making of The Wind Rises. And it has a great screening with it and, 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 uh. Miyazaki says some pretty haunting words at the end, so you got to check that out if you haven't seen. Just look it up, the S Studio Ghibli documentary, and you'll know what it is. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, come on now. Uh, Whiplash, loved Whiplash, still love Whiplash. The Way Back, super boring, but I think it got an Oscar for... I got that from Best Buy. I think it got an Oscar for makeup or something. The Whackness, which I really love. It's got Josh Peck. I don't know if you guys remember that kid uh, from Mean Creek, and he was in Drake and Josh. He's like this drug dealer, but uh, can you believe it has uh, Ben Kingsley in it, too? It was pretty great. Um, I'd watch it. It's pretty sweet. Um, Young Frankenstein, of course. And now we start into more of the slip covers, well actually slip covers, criterions and like uh, collector's editions. So, I got 12 Years a Slave, beautiful movie. Um, 400 Blows, I got uh, 
2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and The Shining, Aladdin, Alfred Hitchcock, The Essential Collection, which I really enjoy this collection. It's got um, Psycho, The Birds, North by Northwest, Vertigo, and Rear Window on it. Watched them all like 12 times since I got it. I got the James Cameron Avatar. It's a beautiful edition. Saw Avatar in the theaters in 3D and just was blown the fuck away. Um, Apocalypse Now. This has uh, the full disclosure. So that has Apocalypse Now, Apocalypse Now, Redux. Don't ever, don't ever watch Redux. It is fucking weird. I don't get it at all. Um, and then it has the documentary uh, from it. So I haven't, I think I've watched the documentary. I can't remember completely if I have or not. But uh, I got some steel books now. I'll pull these babies out for you. It's American Werewolf in London. It's pretty, pretty badass if you ask me that one. I got the American Sniper steel book, which I I would defend this movie till the day I die. I think it's such a great film. Um, the Braveheart steel book isn't anything to write home about, but still, I love I love Braveheart. It is. It is a great film. Come on, man, focus. Um, got Batman Begins Steelbook. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Half price books, I think. So maybe it wasn't pretty cheap. I don't know. Uh, the Babadook. I'm gonna take this one out too because I got that uh, that sweet case. It pops out like this. It's in a word or it's in a look. You can't get rid of the Babadook. So great. Um, I, I just. I love this film because I think it says so much more. It's not just a horror film. I think it's psychological as well. Um, I think it has a lot to do with uh, depression. And if you just... I, I think it was just gorgeously directed and, and written, too. Uh, Blue Jasmine. Come on, find it. There we go. Uh, Blue Jasmine. Coming down to the second level. Got that nice Criterion Designs book. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Jean-Luc Godard's Breathless. If you're in film study or if you going to to school for it, come on, find it, damn it. There we go. Um, you'll probably watch Breathless at least once. Being John Malkovich, it's a criterion. Bridge of Spies. Not many people know that one of the Coens helped write that one. I love this one. I came to Bridge of Spies actually a little bit later than most people. I uh, didn't watch it till after the Oscars, and I was just blown away. That's a Steven Spielberg joint. That's so good. Uh, Boyhood, Beasts of the Southern Wild, which I absolutely adore. Such a great film. I, it, it's, it blows me away every time I watch it. Um... Just love those films you have to think about. I got that red case for Birdman. I got the sweet Birdman t-shirt too. So go check out my uh, my movie t-shirts video. I added a few more since then, so I might have to update it, but still pretty sweet. I got uh, Beetlejuice, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, and Corpse Bride all in the one triple feature with the slip. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, the cast still of Cagliostro, Ostro. It's the loop in the third movie. Pretty good. I enjoyed it. It's good adventure and it's uh, it's gorgeously animated. Another steel book. I got the Chappie steel book. Uh, you want to come at me? Um, I'll fight you any day about Chappie. I think it's uh, I think it's a pretty great tale. I didn't mind the rappers, the ant word or whatever it is, but uh, yeah, this this movie almost it just had my jaw dropped. You know, especially that scene where those kids see Chappie and Chappie's helpless and. They start throwing stuff at him, and they threw that Molotov on him. So, like, I'm like, Chappie is not nearly as bad as it seems. It gets a little ridiculous at times, but Chappie is one that um, I'll keep going back to. Citizen Kane, look at this. I've said I've had some choice words for Citizen Kane. I I think a lot of people lie about seeing this movie. Um, so if you don't own it in your collection, I probably think that you've never watched it. But this is uh, um, a masterclass in directing. If you ever if you've never watched any videos about that breakdown of Citizen Kane, go check those out. Uh, Django Unchained, Dallas Buyers Club, two great films. Django Unchained's really rising up my my ladder of Tarantino movies. Close to number two. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, the drop. Now, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. 
they they really messed up with the titles, I think. So like uh it's like Rise of the Planet of the Apes is is one of the movies. I I'm, I'm trying to think if I have that one or not. Um but it's weird cuz it seems like it should be the opposite way. So like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes should be the first one. Rise should be the second one. You know what I mean? Uh The Drop, really great film. Tom Hardy is in this. Uh what the hell is that guy's name? Um, I always know his name, too. Uh, James Gandolfini is in it. Great, great film. Uh, the Danish Girl, not so great. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, Akira Kurosawa's Dreams. Check this movie out. It is gorgeous. It's weird, um, but it stays with you. Uh, Day for Night. This is Francois Truffaut's film. I love it. First time I watched it, I just fell in love with that movie. Um, Terrence Malick. Moving on to the second round, baby. Days of Heaven, his film. Eraserhead. I feel like everybody's got that criteria in the Eraserhead one. Um, I got another steelbook, which I think is such a beautiful steelbook. The Edward Scissorhands steelbook. 25th anniversary. God, it's pretty. Uh, Live, Die, Repeat, or Edge of Tomorrow. I prefer Edge of Tomorrow. Um, Ex Machina, everybody wants them. I absolutely loved it. It was pretty high on my list for films of last year. Finding Dory, 10 bucks from Family Video. Fast Five, um, don't know why. I think I just, at a time in my life where I just really latched on to the story of that, you know, that family and stuff like that. Fantastic Mr. Fox is great. Um, Gone Girl, Gravity, I gotta show you my Gravity. Um, this baby's Diamond Lux edition. Oh, it is gorgeous. These Diamond Lux editions, man. You cannot go wrong with them. And they're modestly priced, too. Look at that. I really wish it had the... Uh, I wish it had the the whole picture of or the shot with her being reborn. The whole womb shot. Grand Budapest Hotel, The Good Dinosaur, Say What You Want, after, I think this is a really heartfelt film. Um, it loses its way a little bit, but I think they lost, they, they went through so much hell with, like, uh, the production on that, and the directors that they had to try to get, it was just a mess, but it came out, uh, it came out alright. I got that Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digi, um, I really love this slip right here, uh, Toothless. Wife loves Toothless. But that's How You Train Your Dragon, How You Train Your Dragon 2, Hail Caesar. I also got this baby from um, Family Video, Hitchcock. And then for those of you, now this is going to be a question I have for you. So just Hitchcock. Um, so here's The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Now this is the first film. If we go back up, you can see that I have the other Hobbit films up here. But they're up here because they don't have a slip. So, my question to everyone else is, how do you think I should order these? Do you think I should do Criterions with Criterions, uh, Steels with Steels, um, Box Sets with Box Sets kind of thing? Or do you think it's alright where it is? I have no issue with it. I can find them pretty easily. But, you know, I was just curious. Uh, let me know in the comments. Hell or High Water. Or let me know how you guys have it. Hell or High Water. Uh, that was in one of my recent updates. Hateful Eight Steelbook. Got that. Um, her. Howl's Moving Castle. Second favorite Miyazaki Ghibli. Uh, Harry Potter 8 Film Collection. Um, the Indiana Jones Collection is very, very nice. Nice hardcover, too, which is great. Uh, Capra's It Happened One Night, Criterion, The Incredibles, Inside Out, Interstellar, It Follows, Jurassic World, The Killing. If you want my opinion on Jurassic World, um, I don't think it's all that bad. I mean, obviously, it had a lot of CG in it, but uh, I thought it was good summer fun. You know, I don't get back to it a lot, but as far as the other Jurassic Parks go, I think it does all right. All right, so down to the bottom here. I got The Kid, Charlie Chaplin, one of my favorites of his. The Lion King, got the Diamond Edition. 
Hitchcock, The Lady Vanishes. Oh, Lawrence of Arabia. You gotta check this out. It's a steal. It's just desert, and there he is on the camel. Pretty legit. Oh, while I'm at it, I might as well take this one out too. Um, I'm sure you guys saw this, but Labyrinth Man, 30th anniversary. Very, very pretty. Um, I don't want you to see the code. But yeah, it's, it's really nice. Uh, Lord of the Rings, this is the extended edition collection. Got this really cheap from eBay. I'm talking like 20 some bucks, 20 bucks or so. Meek's Cutoff, check that one out. Um, it's a pretty good film. Uh, Mr. Smith Goes Washington Digibook, I got this for 12 bucks. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, good movie. Um, watch, the, watch the way they use the frame in that film. Um, I really enjoy it, especially when, uh, I think his name is... Noah? Whatever, when the... When... Me... And the dying girl are in the same room together and just meeting, or you know, just getting to know each other, it's really great blocking. I mean, uh, positioning in the frame. A Most Violent Year, I love this film. Love this film. When you watch this again, keep track of um, the main character and the guy from Columbia's role how they are kind of intertwined. It's a great film. Manchester by the Sea, excellent. The Mummy, I got one of those, um, it's one of these ones, 100th anniversary for Universal. It's a really nice release. It's got that timeline in there, nice slip cover. I really like that one. Uh, Minority Report, I think this is like the metal pack or the steel book or whatever the hell you want to call it. Pretty nice. It's embossed too. Uh, the Man Who Knew Too Much. This is the original one from uh, Criterion. Uh, Night of the Hunter. I got the Oceans um, series right there. On the Waterfront. Persona. Peter Pan Diamond Edition. Princess Mononoke. I had to go back. Pull the little slippity doodah on that one. Um, I got one, I got a disc that rattled, so I brought it back, grabbed another one, but then threw the, didn't come with a slip originally, then I found they had one, so I just grabbed one of the slips. Perks of Beale and Wallflower, Robinson Crusoe on Mars, check that one out. Uh, old school science fiction, I really enjoy it. Uh, Rashomon, and here's that Rise of the Planet of the Apes one I was looking for earlier. Uh, the Revenant, Silver Linings Playbook, Shaun the Sheep Movie, Shrek, another one of these covers that I really enjoy. I doubt I'll get this back in there. We'll see. Uh, my favorite Ghibli of all time, Spirited Away. Uh, don't waste your time with this. This is the Star Wars um, package. This thing sucks. Um, it's Blu-ray and everything like that, but uh, they added all that stuff in there, and it's just not, it's not Star Wars. That's why I have the original box set. That's the Star Wars that I watch on VHS, original box set. I think it has uh, interviews with, I don't know if Leonard Maltin's interviewing Lucas or what, but here's that Steelbook, Force Awakens Steelbook. Um... I have the Saving Private Ryan steel steelbook or metal pack, one of the two. It's not the better one, but I got the Shaun of the Dead one. Just thinks a pain in the ass to get out. The disc is Toy Story 3, uh, Ted, To Kill a Mockingbird, 50th anniversary edition. Pretty awesome. Titanic. Come on now. Uh, uh, Titanic. Just watched this the other night. I got everything in there. Uh, Taxi Driver Digi. Unopened, too. Um, got that with a, one of those disc replay was going out of business. I think it's called... Um, what the hell was it called? I thought it was like Extreme something. I don't know. Uh, Wizard of Oz, The Vanishing, Wolf of Wall Street, The Witch, Wall Street, uh, War Horse, this thick ass 
freaking Blu-ray. You know, Jimbo, Criterion, Zootopia, and Zero Dark Thirty. That's all she wrote, folks. That's all I have for you. Let me know in the comments if this is a sweet collection, if I have anything rare, if I don't, uh, if it sucks, whatever. Just let me know. You guys are awesome. Thanks. Just genius. I love that movie. Ang Lee's uh, great. Let me in. Metropolis. Don't ever get this one. Um, the Giorgio Moroder, Marauder presents. He adds like stupid 80s music to the Metropolis. You can still watch this with mute, but don't get this version if you're going to... It's just stupid. Uh, the Master. Master and Commander. Good movie. Moon. These are the films that I have right now that I've still yet to watch. Pan's Labyrinth. I did a video unboxing of this a while back. I still haven't watched it. I need to. Hacksaw Ridge. I haven't opened. Edge of 17. I just got the other day. Under the Skin. Um, that's with Scarlett Johansson. Really weird movie. Spike Lee's Malcolm X. Eye in the Sky. Very underrated. One of my better. Uh, one of my more favorite films of last year. Akiru. That's a Kurosawa one, and that's Spartacus DVD version. Uh, I got The Martian, not a huge fan of The Martian, really. Uh, won that in a contest. MASH with Robert Altman. Mallrats, not a huge fan. I tried to watch it again, and just, it didn't hold up for me. Uh, Mud, I think is great. Moonrise Kingdom. The Natural, I uh, heard a podcast talk about that one. I had to go grab it. I think that podcast is The Cinephiles. Yeah, The Cinephiles. But like files of it lens on like like filing cabinet, I think. F I F I. It's the F one. Nebraska. Uh, Alexander Payne, really underrated director. The Nice Guys. The Others. Um, great ending. If you have uh, Dark Knight Rises, Drive, Foxcatcher, Flight, French Connection, Willie Friedkin, Finding Nemo. Got this baby pretty cheap. Uh, Frank and Weenie. Good first two acts. The last act is ridiculous. A uh, Few Good Men, uh, Sorkin and Rob Reiner, Grapes of Wrath, my boy Johnny Ford, Green Mile, you know Tom Hanks, Frank Darabont, Darabont versus uh, Kubrick in the first round of our, of our director's bracket. Um, Good Will Hunting, obviously a great film. The Gray, Goodfellas. I got a Hugo and Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory double pack. Um, the Hobbit Desolation of Smog, Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. I have The Hobbit. No, that's Harry Potter, sorry. Harry Potter, and I think it is part. Deathly Hallows Part 2? Come on. Come on. Find it. There it is. Uh, Infernal Affairs. Oh, whoops. Infernal Affairs. If you're a huge fan of um, The Departed, don't watch that. It'll ruin it for you. Inherent Vice. The Imitation Game, John Wick, Kubo and the Two Strings. Kubo gets better and better every time. Kiki's Delivery Service, that's a Ghibli, Miyazaki Ghibli. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Killer Joe, another Willie Friedkin. Uh, King Kong, Peter Jackson, I like that movie. Life is Beautiful, I got The Lord of the Rings, the three film collection. Those are the theatrical releases. Uh, Lincoln, this actually looks like a bootleg copy. I think I got it from Family Video. Life of Pi. I haven't seen the ending of this film, The Others. Go check it out. Overboard, baby. Love this movie. Um, I think there's something that always shocks me about this film. I think it might be who... Gary Marshall did it. That's Penny Marshall's brother. I thought there was a... I think, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, yeah, Alan Silvestri does the music. Which, the music is good in this. Don't get me wrong. Oh, shit. Uh, another Ghibli, Porco Rosso. Really good movie. I love that one. Uh, Philomena. I have. I think I have... I'm pretty sure I have all of the 2014 Best Picture nominees. So Philomena, Nebraska is another one. I don't know if we passed any of the other ones, but... Primal Fear. Um, what's that guy's name? Uh, shoot. It's got... Um, I always forget that guy's name. This guy, young Edward Norton, and then the other guy. Uh, shit, he's from... Let me know in the comments what this, his name is. He's from uh, Runaway Bride, and he's from... What the hell is that other movie he's in? Or Richard Gere, that's it. The Proposition is a really good movie, and actually they highlight it in one of my film books. Um, so check that out. It's guy... 
Guy Pierce. I think that's the actor. I always get him and Guy Ritchie mixed up. Uh, Ran, Rush, Ratatouille, Straw Dogs, Spaceballs. This came with like a card or something, I think. I still have it on there. Yeah, like, he's got that on there. I kept it on because I was like, oh, well, if I'm... The Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under. Um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Winnie the Pooh. So the newer one right there. But those are all the stupid cases that I own. Now it's regular Amray. And I got 10 Things I Hate About You. Argo. American Hustle. Apollo 13. The Artist. Boogie Nights. Bloodfather. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. Mel Gibson's pretty good in that. Uh, Bridge on the River Kwai, Begin Again, A Bug's Life, Begin Again, I have the soundtrack. A Bug's Life, Boy in the Striped Pajamas, they don't speak German in this, kind of pisses me off. Blade Runner, I believe this is the anniversary edition where it has a bunch of special features on that. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Nope, I lost, I lost it. Alright, here we go. I got it back. Um, come on, before midnight. All right, before midnight, uh, that's probably my favorite one. So real. Link later is, well, actually, all three of them wrote really well. Julie Delpy, Ethan Hawke, and Richard Linklater. Chronicle, um, got that up at a grocery store. I wasn't really impressed with that. Collateral, Casper, nice score from James Horner. Castaway, really underrated film. Cato, shut the fuck up. Uh, Dead Man Walking, great movie if you haven't seen this. I also got this from a, um, from a grocery store. It's a good movie. Uh, What's up everybody, this is Scott, Icebox Nimi coming at you from the real frame of mind. This is going to be my entire Blu-ray, Blu Blu fucking A, my entire Blu-ray collection. Uh, coming at you, I'm just going to start with uh, the crappy DVD cases and then going to standard Amray and then all the ones that I have that are steelbooks and slip covers and criterions and all that shit. So starting off first, I got uh, African Cats. I got Beauty and the Beast, 